Hi everybody, welcome to my very first vlog. Today I want to take you on a tour through Smart Robotics with some greatest, latest and greatest updates. And um, here I'm at the marketing team. Here is uh, Greta. Hello. And I heard you've been very busy lately. Yeah, so I'm really, really excited to uh, let you know that we uh, recently launched our new rebranding. Uh, and also we launched a really beautiful website. Uh, and you can read a lot of information about our pick and play systems. Uh, and please also visit our partners page uh, where you can get uh, information where we have all our service locations. Showing here, right? Yeah. Awesome. Great. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for the update. Thank you. Now let's have a look at our next team at customer success. So it's a bit of a walk, but uh, see you in a bit. Hi there. So we, we, here we are at customer success, and this is Jeroen. Hello. How's it going, Jeroen? Good, good. I just uh, dropped by a customer of ourselves, of ours, where we installed an item picker. I think about a month ago, you can see it over here on the video. We installed an item picker on the out outstore port, and it is collecting um, orders for the outstore to be shipped uh, uh, for the customer and it's actually going very well the customer was very happy so that's uh, nice so how many picks did you do today already a lot and they also went very well i can show you over here we have a, have a board where we do continuous monitoring of how the system goes it's actually uh, all looking good and all looking green with some uh, some bin whistles etc et uh, but that's all uh, all good wow thanks so much awesome no problem now let's have a look at some real robots in our innovation center. Again, a bit of a walk, but see you in a bit. So here we are at our innovation center, and this is Daniel. He's yeah. working on our uh, one of the latest products, the parcel stacker. Can you tell a little bit, Daniel, about your latest progress? Yeah, so currently we're trying to uh, stack a pallet and also check how stable it is. So here you can see, I'm not sure you can see it on the screen, but we are uh, stacking boxes in reality and our digital twin is also showing what the robot thinks it's doing. So what you can see here is the next box which is coming and then the robot decides in which orientation the box should be provided. So here you can see yeah, if the robot has decided in which orientation he wants to place it we will get a pop-up uh, which tells us in this orientation, like here, um, it should be presented to the robot because we don't have a physical flip table yet. But what we can do now is, okay, that this is not so interesting yet because it's all flat, but we can look at the stability. Um, so, you know, it's a tricky way. Jordi, back now, And we can check uh, the latest. St yeah, we, we also store all data so that we can reproduce it easily. So now we can uh, just uh, check the stability of the last place. And then it would say this box is the least stable in the stack. Yeah, it's the only, only box which is placed on top of another box, so that's quite obvious. But uh, like this, we can check if the stacking is stable, and if we go higher, we can also see like different towers which can fall over. Great, nice, really good progress. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. 
Now let's have a look at our uh, system design engineers. And then we are at Thijs. Thijs, hey. can you uh, show us a little bit what you've been up to lately? Yeah, of course. Um, right now I'm working on a, a gantry solution for one of our biggest customers. So you probably have seen the, our parcel picker robot. Uh, but here it's uh, a gantry robot, so it's a three uh, three axis robot, and we use it to uh, yeah basically stack uh, boxes to a lot of destinations. Um, the software is the same, so the stacking algorithm we use, our uh, our graph positions are the same, uh, but it has a lot of advantages with respect to a six axis robot. Nice, looks good. Hey, and also heard that you're working on uh, extending the payload of our collaborative robot systems, so yeah. the pelletizer systems. Yeah, correct. So right now we can uh, pick up to 12 kilograms, uh, but we want to extend that range. So let me see if I can open it a little bit. So we're designing a new frame with a new, uh, new heavy, uh, heavier cobot and can lift up to 20 kilograms. So we need a, yeah, a more robust frame. Um, but it will allow us to, to handle more, uh, more client cases. Great, thanks so much. Yeah, of course, no problem. Have a good day. Thank you. And uh, thanks you for uh, viewing this first vlog. I hope you liked it. Please give a thumbs up if you like it. And we're of course open for any feedback and questions. Hope to see you next time. Bye bye.